Good afternoon. My name is Sam. While at Facebook, me and my colleagues spent a lot of time in emerging markets to drive user growth on Facebook's uh, mobile app. We walked through the streets of Manila, Jakarta, Rio de Janeiro, Sao Paulo to understand user behavior. And what we found that the user experience on mobile phones are not ideal for those markets for various reasons. Because the signals can be spotty, because the phones and, and, and data is very expensive. This has prevented and continues to prevent millions of people of accessing mobile internet, which you and I, all of us enjoy here. We set out to change that and launch Lotus Flare with the one singular objective of making mobile internet more affordable and accessible. I'm happy to report that we have made progress in executing our, our mission. Various, in various countries like El Salvador, Colombia, Paraguay, Indonesia, Philippines, working with mobile operators, we have deployed our platform through which mobile uh, consumers or users can access mobile data intuitively, affordably. These are all prepaid markets, very different than the markets here in North America. Instead of worrying about and purchasing megabytes, they can now purchase or experience their favorite apps like Facebook or Skype and experience that affordably. What we have seen is around 10% of new users who are coming on this platform had never used mobile internet before, which helps us achieve our objective of making mobile internet more affordable and, and accessible. Recently, we got approached by an operator in the Middle East who wants to team up with us, deploy our platform in Jordan to provide affordable access to refugees. There are around one and a half million refugees hosted in Jordan. And they are like us, they have families which are dispersed, and they want to access mobile internet to connect with their friends and families, to access information, entertainment. However, we cannot do that for various reasons. We are going to make that, change that. Working with that operator, we are going to launch an affordable uh, mobile data plan where they can access some of their favorite apps like Facebook, like WhatsApp, like Skype. So this is something which is, we continue to embark on this journey to uh, execute our mission. Now what we are doing is to going deeper into the mobile operator network. We want to change the mobile operator from being network centric to people centric. If you take a step back, a mobile operator stack is a cell tower, a backhaul, and a lot of backend system which is billing, provisioning, and routing of the traffic. These, the backend of mobile operator has been dominated by traditional equipment vendors like Ericsson, Huawei, Cisco's, and they are very expensive from a CapEx and OpEx standpoint, very inflexible. All of this basically add up to the cost of accessing mobile internet, which basically gets passed on to the consumers which you and I end up paying and people across the globe pay. We are going to change that. We are moving the legacy-based backend from uh, to the cloud-based from hardware to software. In the month of July 2017, in Asia, we're going to be launching a 100% digital mobile operator which is on cloud. There is no single traffic which is going through the core network stack. That's basically what we're building to really, again, from a long-term standpoint, make an impact and significantly reduce the cost, and we hope that cost savings can be passed on to the subscribers. We a year ago, more than a year ago, we started working with Google Loon also to see how can we help provide access to mobile internet in specifically those areas which are remote where building cell towers are expensive or where a natural disaster struck. Beaming internet through balloons or satellite or drones is still not commercially viable, but it's not far off. Just imagine if a natural disaster struck, people, the cell tower goes down. There is a way the internet can be beamed through balloons or drones. We can airdrop SIMs, and we basically can get 
the back end up and running in cloud in hours rather than months to get people start connected to the world. That's basically what our mission is. That's what we are setting out to do. Overall, this has been an exciting journey, personally fulfilling journey for us. We are headquartered in, uh, in Silicon Valley with offices in Seattle, in Europe, Singapore, and Jakarta. We are well-funded, and, and uh, we run a positive cash flow business. So doing good to the world is a good business. We are around 70 people, team of 70 people, 95% of our ex, uh, Facebook, ex Microsoft, and Ericsson engineers and product managers. We work with some of the largest mobile operators across the globe and have already deployed our platform in various countries. So if you all believe in this mission and want to help us to make mobile internet more affordable and accessible, want to solve some of the tough engineering problems, come and help us. In the same vein, if we can help you achieve your mission, share our learnings from our journey, we would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for your time.